Hi Pisces, welcome to your monthly reading. I'm going to be taking a look at what's coming up for you for the next month and I'm going to be looking at where you're currently at in life, where you're heading through the month and I'm going to look at the external, internal energies affecting your situation as well as your outcome. This is general, it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck to give us some more insight guidance and clarification on your situation so let's go ahead and jump right in show me where pisces is currently at in life okay queen of pentacles i like that okay working really hard self-made um you know just taking care of the house um cooking, cleaning, whatever, you know, I feel like you do it all. I feel like you're also a hard worker. You know, you're, you might, some of y'all might be single parents, but I do see you even helping people out. Um, some of you recently got a raise. Life looks pretty good for you, Pisces. I like that queen of pentacles. Um, some of you, maybe it's a nurturing, um, relationships just to let people know how important they are to you. So where are you heading for the next month? Come on. Uh-oh. There's an, a bit of an indecision here. Can't make a choice on something because you don't have all the information. You need to learn more before you make a choice on something in particular here. Whatever this is. Or somebody needs to learn more before they make a decision. It's like, I can't. Um, so with that two of wands coming out in reverse, now it also makes the other person, person cautious, like, wait, why can't you make a decision? Um, or, you know, there's overly cautiousness and that's if you're going through a situation like that. So let's go ahead and look at the external energy affecting your situation. This is going to be people around you, energy around you. We have the five of swords and also the four of cups at the bottom of the deck. So you're trying to nurture a relationship connection here. And it looks like where you're heading with indecision, some there's conflict uh, about maybe making the right choice or not being interested or what if things, you know, just are not what we both want. Um, There's something else I want. Hmm, feels like games. Let's go ahead and look at the internal energy affecting your situation, which is going to be you, Pisces, here. So it looks like this person, whoever this is, if you're dealing with someone, is conflicted about making a decision, or the energy around you is there is conflict, which is making it hard for you to make a decision. So the, we have the Ten of Wands that comes out for the internal energy affecting your situation. So carrying a heavy, heavy weight of um, heartbreak here. Let's get the outcome and then I got to clarify because this is, you know, I feel like you are like this, this, this comes out of nowhere. Ace of wands, the nine of wands is at the bottom of the deck right here. Um, see you manifesting heartbreak i do see this person you know conflicted about maybe not being interested or things getting boring or maybe you would get bored with them um or that they're not looking for love or like reject whatever it is they're if it's somebody around you they're rejecting this cup of love now if it's the energy around you it just really feels like somebody there's a lot of hurt tied up to it. So let's go ahead and start clarifying. We're going to start with this queen of pentacles of where you are currently at in life, Pisces.
everything you're doing looks really good, you know. Um, wow. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Devil, Judgment card, and we also have the Strength card coming out. It really can't get any better than that because with that Devil card in the middle is telling me you are seriously committed to making something work here for yourself like a... If you have a blessing coming into your life, then you're really committed to giving it a true chance. And um, you know what kind of intention you have for it, which is great determination, compassion. Um, you're very driven. That's what I'm seeing here. Like I am very, very driven. Let's go ahead and clarify this two of wands in reverse for where you're heading through the month. So the two of wands in reverse is clarified by the justice card, the uh, page of cups, and then the seven of wands, the king of cups at the bottom of the deck right here. So if this is a relationship, you're really giving your all to it and it feels like somebody can't make a decision when it comes to you. Um, they're honestly sorry. Like they feel like they have to do the right thing by... maybe keeping their guard up, not making a decision so fast, something like that. Justice card, the Page of Cups, and then also the Seven of Wands that comes out. Let me grab that card. Sorry about that, that fell. Okay. The King of Cups is at the bottom of the deck right here. There's also about, it feels like if somebody can't make a decision, you'll make a decision for them, which is very tough to do. Let's go ahead and clarify this Five of Swords for the external energy. Wow, so this is somebody um, who wants to win at all cost, but it's like they want you, Pisces, but they won't tell you that because if they told you that, they wouldn't be able to explore other options. They're conflicted about like a serious relationship here. Um, they have other people that do, you know, really want them. They're not really talking to them right now. They're like, no, but I'm not talking to them. But they do have other options. And if they settle down or something like that or get in a serious relationship, then that means that they can't talk to other options if they choose to do so. I also just see somebody being very negative about your happiness and you trying to, you know, rise above the challenges and um, not worrying about them, looking at other options, choices here. It's like you're you're choosing not to talk to somebody too, which is the right thing to do. Um, let's clarify this Ten of Wands for the internal energy affecting your situation here. Whoever this is that's ugly towards you, and I don't like it, it's just like a lot of an exchange of, you know, someone saying something that comes off as very um, ugly, rude, and it almost feels like you have wor an exchange of words with someone and it was outside of your character because you would have never done it that way. Um, but you needed to take a stand for yourself or you need to take a stand for yourself, I should say, because this is in the next month. And feeling this heaviness of how somebody treated you so poorly with, you know, breadcrumbing you or whatever, not giving you answers of, 
of how they feel or something like that you're not going to allow that to happen again it's like that decision has been made let's go ahead and clarify this ace of wands here i'm so sorry that you're going through this you know when you're trying to make or create a, a good life for yourself and you have people who either want to bring you down or um not be supportive or be in your life just to ultimately leave you know they're everywhere but i will tell you pisces the way that you're handling things where you're like nope i'm stronger than this i can do this i am just going to keep pushing myself forward i'm not going to put up with um people that want to bring me down anymore i like that because you should you should rise above those who um don't want to see you succeed i want to see you succeed <laughs> so all right so that ace of wands is clarified by the temperance card the hermit and the moon card that comes out as well as the knight of cups here so the outcome there is this definite attraction and pull after some time after waiting and thinking about things somebody starts to miss you and wants to come back and yeah okay so but i do see you know a fresh start for you if you want it here you're not going to have all the answers but trust your intuition on making decisions um, based off of you know how you feel also thinking about it making sure that you have checked you know everything off on your checklist and um i do see love and a, a, a new proposal here for you and that could be with somebody but i'm really seeing this as you know there's something new coming for or not coming for you but there's something new ahead for you in life here So the messages that come out for you are going to be first light, beginning a new cycle comes out and taking shelter. The answers are within. Yes, you are absolutely going to know what to do in situations where you might not have all the answers. You're very wise beyond measure. Um, you don't have to rush everything, everything in moderation. And in this new outcome, or in this new outcome in this outcome you will see a lot of change um, valiant courage take action with passion as long as you are putting your dedication and devotion to it so this is what i have for you pisces if it resonates go ahead and hit that like button i will see you in your next reading coming up have a good rest of your day bye